Let's talk about working with data in R. I've got an Excel file here that I'll open up that just has three columns. The first row is a column name. So we've got group A or B, trial one through five, and then some numerical result. If we want to load these data into R, it's going to be a lot easier if it's not an Excel file. It's going to be much, much easier if it's a .csv file or a comma separated values file. So if you're using Excel, you can go to file, save as, and then choose where you want to save this. I'm going to save it in my class folder. So ebio 1010, I've called it made underscore up because I just made these data up. And then for the format, I'm just going to go down and select .csv. And you might get some warning asking if you're sure you want to save it as a CSV file. In this case, yes, I am sure. So let's actually take a look at this file and see what it looks like. I'm going to open it up with a text editor so that we can really dig into it. Here it is. The first row is just group trial result. These are my column names. And every one of those entries is separated by a comma. And the same is true for the rest of these rows. So we've got a, comma 1, comma 0.5. That's all a CSV file is. An Excel file can have a lot of other junk associated with this table. For instance, you can have fonts, colors, and macros. But if all we want is data, then a CSV file should be fine. So let's load this data up into R. I'm going to put it into an object called D, and I'm going to use the read.csv function. Inside of this function, I need to have my path to the file inside of quotes. So I'm just going to go remind myself what the path is. Well, I've got it in my documents, classes, and so on folder. And I can put that path inside of this read.csv function as the argument. Inside of the quotes, execute it, and I will have loaded my data frame into R. And it stores it as a data frame. So we've got 10 observations of three variables. One last thing to mention is missing data. Missing data are pretty common in the real world. So to simulate that, I'm just going to delete one of these entries and assume that we don't have a result measurement for this observation. I'll save that CSV file and just load it up again and we'll take a look at how R handles these NA values or missing values. So if I print D, here's my data frame and where I had nothing in my CSV file, R has automatically replaced that with an NA which in R just stands for something that is missing or not applicable.